Hey guys, I'm Warren Nash and here is the perfect family recipe for chicken and chorizo paella. This Spanish inspired dish is simply bursting with flavour, plus it serves up plenty if you've got lots of mouths to feed. Firstly take one large white onion. Slice the ends off, slice in half, then peel, then finely chop. And now take three garlic cloves and again slice the ends off and peel, then finely chop and set aside with the onion. Next, take a large saute pan that's big enough to hold all of the ingredients for our paella. Place it over a medium heat on the stove, then add some olive oil. Once it's heated up, add the chopped onion and garlic, plus 75 grams of chopped chorizo, then fry for five minutes. After you've fried these ingredients for five minutes, take 450 grams of diced chicken breast and add to the pan. And then fry for a further five minutes until the chicken is white all over. And once you've finished frying your chicken, add one tablespoon of tomato puree and one tablespoon of smoked paprika. Also add a pinch of saffron, then crumble in one chicken or vegetable stock cube. Now mix these ingredients together and once combined, pour in 225 grams of paella rice. Then take 75 milliliters of fair trade white wine and pour this into the pan as well. Then fry these ingredients for about two minutes until the white wine has just about evaporated off. And now top the contents of your pan up with some boiling water until the ingredients are just about covered. Season with some salt and pepper, then stir the ingredients together. Now leave to simmer for 15 minutes whilst remaining over a medium heat. And meanwhile, whilst that's simmering away, take one washed red pepper. Then slice the end off and de-seed and slice into small chunks. And once the paella has been simmering for 15 minutes, add the chopped pepper along with 100 grams of frozen peas. Stir these into your paella, then leave to simmer for a final five minutes. Then after this simmering time, your paella's ready to serve. Give it one final stir and season again if necessary, then serve your paella into bowls. Now finish your paella off with some freshly chopped parsley and there you have it. That's how to make this delicious Spanish inspired dish which is simply bursting with flavour. 